Okay, here we're gonna be working on an air pollution problem. We're gonna be considering how many fine particles are we breathing in. At first they want us to find how many grams of fine particles we take in with one breath. And then in the second part they want us to find how many individual particles we take in with each individual breath. We're gonna consider uh, our lung to have a volume of one liter. We also gonna consider a concentration of 12 micrograms per meters cube and this comes from the next standard PM 2.5 annual average. Okay this is what we're gonna utilize. What is the PM 2.5? Is the designation of this group of particles that have a diameter that is smaller equal or smaller to 2.5 micrometers. There's also another designation PM10 which is the 10 micrometer or smaller, right? But we're not using those here, just so we know. Okay, the first question, how many grams of particles do we take in in one breath? So for this we're gonna rely on the concentration formula which is similar idea or concept to density, right? Mass over volume. Here we're going to have the mass of our particles over the volume of our lungs. This is my V. I just usually cross it out because some problems have volume and velocity together. And this way if I cross it out, at least I know that bam, that's volume. I don't have to think about it. All right, let's proceed. From here, we can go ahead and solve for the mass, mass of total mass of uh, PM, the fine particle, C times volume. Our C is given right here or here. We're gonna plug it in and our volume is one liter, just like it's specified. We also plugged it in. Now, we notice that uh, there's a little mismatch of uh, units and we don't want a micron here. So the micron is 10 to negative 6. That's what I plugged in here. And we have grams over meters cubed. Now the liter, let's convert that to meter cubed. Since they are both volume. Right here, 0 0.001 meter cubed. And now if we calculate this, we can see that uh, mass, total mass of uh, PM, we're going to have a 0 0.012 times 10 to the negative 6 grams per each breath that we uh, breathe in. Now for the second question, they want us to find how many particles do we breathe in with each breath. They want us to assume that these particles, they have a diameter of about 1 micron, right? We said PM 2.5, that means 2.5 micron or uh, smaller. The, the, that's a designation of this entire group, okay? But here, they just want us to consider everything that this person is breathing in is has a diameter of one micron, uh, just for ease of calculation, I guess. So, uh, also, they want us to assume that these particles are approximately spheres and they have a density of 2,000 kilograms per meter cubed. Okay, now in order to find the individual particles, the number of particles that we are breathing in, we can take a look at the fact that we already found the total mass of all the particles that we take in with one breath. So if we could find the mass of just one particle, divide them, we can find that number. And we can see that we, are, we have density given and diameter. So, we can use the density formula to find the mass of one particle. And here it is when we solve for it. Mass equals density times volume. Mass, mass of the particle, right, equals the density, which is given right here. Just make sure that you replace the K from the kilogram, the K is 10 to the third, 
we want grams per meter cubed and volume of the particle it's basically volume of a sphere right here if you forgot the formula with the radius or with a diameter now we plug that one in as well with our given diameter one micron which is one times ten to the negative six right okay Calculate it and we can find that one particle has a mass of 1.048 times 10 to the negative 12 grams per each particle. Now we can come back to our formula that we started here. So we can find our number of PM particles, the total mass that we breathe in from here, divided by the mass of just one particle that's going to give us that we're breathing in about 11,459 particles per breath 11,500 particles per breath approximately now if we take a look at these two numbers this is a really small number and this is a fairly large number right now if you are reading an article or some kind of report it is important to keep in mind what kind of unit are you are uh, reading what are they reporting because for example an industry would love to report this number right oh we are only poll polluting 0 0.012 times 10 to negative 6 grams very small number it seems very small but at the same time uh, an organization that environmental organization more likely he would like to report this number that hey we found something blah 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 with 11,500 particles per breath right each of them could pick a side which looks more in their favor of what they want to talk about so keep in mind they might sound different but it's actually the same thing Alright, thank you for watching. Please like the video so other people can find it as well. And have a good day.